Well, with the R word on everyone's lips, I spoke to Professor Edward Lima, economist and visiting fellow at the U.S. Study Center at Sydney University. I asked him if the Australian numbers confirmed there was a lot more pain ahead in the global financial crisis. Well, the Australian number is really rather good compared to the United States. The United States had a minus 6% down in the fourth quarter, and Australia was only minus one half. This is a recession that is going to last at least two more quarters. We think by the end of this year, things will get better. When we see what's happened to Lehman Brothers, when we see what's happened this past few days to AIG, the massive hemorrhaging in spite of the uh, huge government bailout, do you blame taxpayers for thinking this is a case of just throwing good money after bad? Well, I think taxpayers are very frightened about what's happening because it doesn't seem like there's any end in sight. We need to have a leadership in Washington that tells us exactly what the problem is, how much money is going to be involved on a part of the taxpayers and how long it's going to last. Instead, they just keep spending and spending. In terms of the plunging Dow, we've seen it go down to the lowest level since 1997. Is that a judgment on the Obama intervention? It's a judgment on the uh, Geithner uh, speech and a judgment on the AIG. There's a sense that tell us what's going on. We need transparency. Before we're going to buy equities, we really want to know what's going to happen next. In terms of looking forward, and I suppose we're all looking for a silver lining, aren't we? At some point, we're going to be heading towards a recovery. What kinds of factors should we be looking out for to, in the hope of uh, seeing a recovery in the, in the road ahead? Well, in, in the United States, it's homes. We have to get the home market stabilized and get people buying homes and get home prices rising again. We've got to get auto sales going as well. The other fact, of course, that you've written about is personal savings in the United States. As we've seen consumer demand go down, We've seen this phenomenon of personal savings going up. Is that a good thing or a bad thing as we look forward in this crisis? Well, the U.S. consumers have been under-saving for a long time. We need more savings, but we can't do it all at once. We need to do that more slowly so that we can absorb the reduction in spending in some other component of the economy. Right now, the consumers just ramped up personal savings in December and January. We can't have that happen. And in t we had a, an economist on the show this week saying we're looking towards China and Asia for the recovery. Do you, do you support that view? Well, there's no clear locomotive that's going to pull the economy forward. It was con U.S. consumers, overspent, heavy in debt consumers that pulled the economy forward for the last decade. It would be nice if Chinese consumers or Indian consumers could do that work, but it's going to be a long time before the Chinese and Indians look like Americans. A long time indeed. Professor Lima, thanks for joining us. Thank you.